Hey everybody, it's Carla here and I have a Crafty Hobby Lobby haul. So as many of you guys already know, Hobby Lobby will be discontinuing their 40% off coupon. So I had a gift card that I had received um, for Christmas, I can't remember. And I had been kind of waiting for the red clearance stickers. And my store was really slow to get it started. I've been stalking the store almost daily last week. Didn't go, I went Thursday, didn't go Friday, and went yesterday, Saturday. And I guess they marked them down on Friday morning. So by the time I got there yesterday, after I had to teach class, so by the time I got there in the afternoon, um, the only thing that had been marked down were the stickers, none of the paper, None of the planner stuff, the albums, none of the storage, none of the embellishments, um, stamps, both clear and wood, and there were a couple of ink pads that had been marked down, but nothing major like in years past, and none of the dies, nothing on that die aisle was marked down. Not the cricket and all that kind of stuff. So I've been eyeing this Tim Holtz glass medium mat. I have a little small glass mat from years and years and years ago that I have on my desk. But I figured since the 40% off was going to be going away. And uh, I know they put Tim Holtz stuff on every now and then. But this was the last one that they had. And I wasn't sure. You know how they go through their inventory and they stop keeping things. I figured I would... In, my Michaels don't keep, don't, does not carry these, and I've not seen them in any of the Joann's. Yes, I can order them online, but those that know me know I don't do a lot of online ordering. I love going to the stores. So, I went ahead, since I had the gift card and I had a coupon, um, I went ahead and got it. So, it's usually $39.99, so I got 40% off of that, so it's about $16 off, roughly. So... I thought that was a fairly good deal. You might can find it cheaper. I'm not sure. But my advice to you is if there's something in Hobby Lobby that doesn't always go on sale and you've been eyeing it for a while, go ahead and use the 40% off coupon and buy it now if they've got it. Because um, after February 28th, um, coupons will no longer be, be available. I did hear that they may accept them for the next following week, but... It, it, that was going to be store by store. So I went ahead and got this. This is a larger. Let me grab the other one that I've had. I had this one for years. I mean years. And I had it. It's by EK Success. And I bought it years ago. And I got a little plain, uh, paint on it when I was doing something last night. But see this one's smaller. For those of you guys remember this. EK Success had put these out years ago. Because they had a cutting system. That you used the little templates and then um, the blade would run on there. I still have that here in my room somewhere. But um, so this is a smaller format and this has been in a box for many years up until recently when I redid my room about a month ago and I pulled it out of the box going, why do I have this in the closet or my cabinet? Why don't I pull it out? And since then you can see I've been using it for painting and per, you know, but I, I really like it. And I thought, this might be a larger format because you have your working surface and stuff. And I've seen it in a lot of uh, Tim's um, videos. Let me set this aside. So, and it, it's nice to use that for painting and just putting a little bit of ink on. So, let me, guide, let, let me know, guys, for those that have this, what you think about it. Um, let's flip it around. So, to me, this reminds me of... The magnetic um, cutting that I have. What brand is that? I was thinking that was something else. Let's see. I've got two of those. I don't know. I haven't seen these around. Basic. Is it basic print? I don't remember. See these? I've got two of these, and they're magnetic. Those I haven't seen. I don't know that those are even in production. That's what this reminds me of. So, I don't know. I thought I would have to go ahead and get that. I just banged my knee on the table. So I will open this up. Well, let's open it up now. Go ahead. I don't have any scissors right here in front of me, but let's 
see. I should check it out and make sure that it's okay before um, before too long. I just bought it yesterday. All right, let's get it out of the box. I'm sorry, guys. I'm off camera trying to get this thing out of the box. I don't want to rip the box in case something's wrong with it. And I have to take it back. It is in there good. It does not want to slide out. Well, that's a good sign. Hold on, guys. I may not be able to do this on camera because it does not. It's like it's like a can with canned vegetables. You know, you open it up, you have to um, really force it out. Let's see. This side's glued. Let's see. Let's try it from this side. It's in here good. There's no packing around it. See. Let me see if I can get it out of here now. I hear the dogs upstairs. Okay, it's in there tight. Oh, there we go. Opening the other side, released it. So, there's nothing else inside. So, there it is. It's got these little um, bumpers in there from the packaging. Like that. Where's the other one? I don't know if those are part of the thing or just the packaging. I'm going to go ahead and put it on there for now. There we go. So there it is. It's a nice large format of glass. And I guess you have this little, it's a sticky mat. And yeah, it's very pretty. So I'm glad I went ahead and got this. This will be a nice little addition to my craft room. So, okay, that's enough rambling about my Tim Holtz Tonic Studios glass mat on to why I really went to Hobby Lobby and you're going to be surprised that I didn't get that much because not much of what I really wanted was on sale yet. I usually go for the dies. I did go for the stamps but in looking at the stamps prior to the stickers being put out there weren't that many stamp sets that I, were, that I had just had to have. But I did find this um, Hero Arts Loving Swan stamp went ahead and got this one. It's similar to the ones that I picked up at Michael's. This one is just a little bit different. There's the one from Hobby Lobby. Here is the one, where is it at? It's behind me somewhere. From, I'm looking for it, here it is. This is the one which is Stampendous. So you can see they're a little bit different. See that? Still makes a slight heart. This one has some like little uh, lilies water lilies and then of course the size is a lot different but I thought that would be cute it was $2.49 thought that might be fun to have that'd be pretty on a wedding card okay so this is all I got guys can you believe it that's it that's all I got I did take some pictures and I will include those for those that haven't been to Hobby Lobby or maybe yours has not done the discounts you'll be able to see what to expect um, not as much red stickers in my store as usual. So I love Disney. I haven't been in a while. We were actually kind of thinking about going, but still afraid to go out to anything like that at this time. But I follow, doc follow Dr. Disney on Facebook. If you guys are a Disney fanatic, please follow him. He is there all the time with update videos, live videos, showing park lines. It's just awesome. So this is part of the Disney uh, sticker collections. This is princesses. And you get get this little princess. And they're like uh, foamy. And then you have these. And you have this. I don't know why they put that on the front. But aren't they cute? So for 99 cents, I went ahead and got just one. They had several. And I said, no, I'm just going to get the one. So I really like that. And look how cute these are. These are from the Paper Studio. So normally, the Paper Studio stickers go on, what, 50% off every so often. But this this is like a 75% off sale. But look at these cute little uh, fruit with the little faces. I thought they would make such cute paper clips for my planners. I actually showed them to Carly, and she just fell in love with them. Look how cute they are. So $0.74, cents, regularly $2.99. I should have gotten two, but I was trying to be good. I love the pineapple. Look how that little pineapple. Isn't that cute? And then check out these. Look at the bacon. It, isn't that too cute? 
it had the little avocado and the french fries and the peanut butter and jelly. I thought these would be cute. And um, first saw them, I thought, oh my gosh, those are going to make cute little planner paper clips. So I got those. And y'all know I'm all about homes. And I found these by Paper Studio, $1.24. And they're like a home sweet home. So what's really cool about this is you get quite a bit. Um, look at the little sun. They have little faces on them too. Super cute. Look at the little houses. This home sweet home. And then these are flat stickers. So these are puffy stickers, these first two. And then these are flat. But really, really cute. Look at the little dog. But I saw these and then they coordinate with these. So they're like the same type of houses. These are only 74 cents, regularly $2.99. I did get two of those. So I thought this would be fun for projects that I do for my clients. Sometimes I'll make a mini albums or an altered you know, frame or different things, and I thought this would be fine. So I got those. Oh, I did get two of those. Forgot, forgot two of those little guys. I should have got two of the bacon. There may have only been one. So yeah, I got two of those. Then look at these. These are so cool. These, don't these remind you of neon lights? You know, from back in the day. That's what it reminds me of. Kind of reminds me of the the old lights from Las Vegas, especially with the little flamingos. They have like a metallic look to them and they're dimensional, so they're not totally flat, but aren't they cute? They had quite a few of this um, style. Not all of them were on sale. So they kind of remind me of like a my Mylar balloon, but I thought they're really, really cute. So a lot of fun. I got one of those, 74 cents. And then check out these. Now, oh yeah, the envelopes and things were on sale, but not many were. But I get this was there was one pack of these gold envelopes. This was what ninety nine cents. So I went ahead and got those. You get what twelve? Yeah, twelve. But aren't they cute? I thought these would be fun in mini albums since they were gold. Got those. Go to the stamps last. I got this um, princess. I almost didn't get it, but it's just like a bling tassel. And it was $1.74. This was regularly $6.99. Who in the world would pay $6.99? EK Success. I know you guys do some awesome Disney stuff, but $6.99 for just one bling sticker, that's a bit crazy to me. But for $1.74, sure. I thought that might be fun on um, a mini album cover. Okay, so there were some stickers on sale, and I, this might be a repeat buy. Um, this was some thickers, the happy birthday is $1.24. And for those that use thickers, you know how much fun they are. Cool thing about this is that you have the gold on the front, but on the side, if you can see, it's like a red corally color. And then the back is like a minty green, if you can see that. So it has happy birthday theme on here. And the other side is confetti, wishes, shine, hooray, yay, and surprise with some balloons, accents. So, a lot of fun. These make great, I like to put these, um, you could put it on a card, especially at this price, it wouldn't be so bad. But something that's not gonna be thrown away, that's why I like it on mini albums, or, you know, altered projects and stuff, I got that. Then the only two stamps, the last two things that I have that were on sale, this is My Sentiments Exactly, and I almost didn't get either one of them until I read some of the, Things. It says, just fluttering by to say hi. May you always be brave enough to fly. Believe in possibilities. Embrace change. Your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly. She flies with her own wings. And it has a silhouette, like a solid butterfly. So I have tons of other butterfly stamp sets that this these things would coordinate with. So I went ahead and got this. I've seen some really pretty cards using um, a lot of butterflies. So I thought that this these sentiments would go well with some of the other sets that I got. And that was $3.99, regularly $15.99, which seems a little bit pricey, but you know me, I don't buy anything full price. So this one is, do they have names to them? My Sentiments Exactly. Let's see, this one says Butterfly Silhouette. This one says Floral Quote Cards. So again, I basically, basically got it for the sayings and it was $3.99 as well. 
So some of the sayings on here, I'm not afraid I was born to do this. Don't worry, you've got this. Love cometh like sunshine after rain by William Shakespeare. I love you, you rock. It always seems impossible until it's done by Nelson Mandela. So it's got some quotes by some famous people. Um, I have no interest in abiding by the adult rule book. I want to do fun things that make me happy, Miranda Hart. Um, shall we go have a little fun? That one I like. <clears throat> the language of friendship is not words, but meanings, Henry David Thoreau. I, I get you, girlfriend. Uh, may you experience the peace and joy of acceptance. I mean, there's a couple others on here, but um, a lot of fun. So, thought again, bought it for the sentiments, not necessarily for the tulip stamp, even though that is a pretty stamp. So, guys, that's all I got. Aren't you proud of me? That's all I got. And I still have, um, didn't use all my gift card because I had a $100 gift card. And this was only 40 it says $48.14. And basically, this was regularly 39 So, um, that's with tax. So, basically, I, I got all of this for plus $5 for the price of the mat using the coupon. So, all right, guys, go check out your Hobby Lobbies, and hopefully your store has gotten around to um, putting their orange stickers out because mine has only done parts. Now, I did not go to the wedding aisle. I know there's a lot of discounts there, and I did not go to um, the yarn or sewing. I basically just went to the paper crafting because I really don't, don't need those, and I didn't want to be tempted. Same thing with the jewelry aisle. I've got tons of charms and beads and stuff, so I didn't even make my way to those sections. So, All right, guys. Um, thanks so much for watching. Hope y'all are doing good. We woke up this morning here in North, North Carolina to a dusting of snow, a little bit bigger dusting than last time. I wish we'd just get a snow. I would like at least six to ten inches, at least once. I love the snow. Not enough to really go out and sleigh ride because it doesn't cover the grass all the way, but it's still pretty to look at. I'll take it. And um, yeah, send me some snow. I've seen a lot of people up north getting snow. Send it down my way. All right, y'all. Have a wonderful, crafty Sunday, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.